Hi Scorpio, it's L here to do your relationship Monday Madness reading. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Okay, Scorpio, so let's jump into this. Um, all right. So uh, relationship issue here is the king of swords someone making a head over heart decision someone who is the eternal bachelor someone who um is okay with being single maybe even for the rest of their lives someone who has high standards for themselves and the people around them definitely for romantic love interest the intellect the uh very ambitious uh authoritative man must have control is always in control uh could be a narcissist scorpio capricorn libra showing up here that's the issue here um so scorpio how the other person sees you is judgment you hold the card scorpio you are going to render the final verdict on this partnership, on this uh, relationship, uh, in this business partnership, in this duality. It's a two card. It was a 20, but it reduces to two. So they see you. And this talks about a snap judgment, too. It's, it's like a you getting an epiphany here. They feel as if you, the ball is in your court in terms of bringing this back together, uh, doing it over, possibly doing it differently. But this is your energy, Scorpio. So they see you um, as, rend as one in a second chance, wanting to do something over, having the final judgment on reviving this connection. Or making a decision so they see it you as having to cut something out cut someone off something of that nature the obstacle here is the eight of pentacle the obstacle here is somebody is extremely focused on work work for themselves work about themselves feelings may be out of the window in terms of this relationship and uh, what Scorpio wants or what the other person wants this this is an obstacle it could be shared Scorpio could feel this way the other person or OP could feel this way also um, there's someone driven you know project related in terms of you know them being concentrated on a specific thing there's someone here in that energy of you know watch wash rinse repeat they're doing something over and over there's also an energy the obstacle here is ego and what and the toxicity that the that an ego can breed and it also may be here that somebody isn't more invested than the other that someone uh, could be thinking of you, Virgo, I said Virgo, so it could be done with a Virgo, Scorpio, someone could be thinking of you over and over again, or someone is trying over and over again in the relationship. This could be you, this could be them. Once again, one party is more invested, but there's a person who is worried about themselves, their own reputation, their own, you know, they have foresight within themselves about themselves. They're taking calculated risk about themselves, about their own work. They're being careful with their money, their time, and uh, they're trying to accomplish something. Scorpio, and that's how this is the obstacle. How you see the other person, Scorpio, as the Ten of Pentacles, you see them as trying to... Um, yeah, you, some of you could be dealing with Virgo. Okay, this is Sun and Virgo here with the Eight of Pentacles. And then this is, uh, I think this is Mercury and Virgo. With the Eight of Pentacles, Sun and Virgo, Ten of Pentacles, Mercury and Virgo here. Um, you see your person as very detail-oriented. You see them as trying to leave a legacy for, for themselves and or, you know, their children. You see them... Um, you know having money you see them as wealthy and it's not just 
wealth in terms of you know monetary this person is stable stable in their heart in their mind you see them as the real thing they're organized they're 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 uh they have their own empire of some sort um you see that if being with this person they will be dedicated to the relationship meaning that they would stay in the relationship even if it weren't as healthy or going in the direction as uh, they intended it to, to go in, they would not be so easily swayed or they wouldn't leave because they are dedicated to the relationship and the reputation and the health of the relationship. Um, yeah, you see them as a uh, for better or worse type of individual. Um, you see them as marriage material. You see them that you will be marrying or you have married into someone who's very stable here. Um, once again, you see them as the real thing, but I don't think you're able to give them the real thing. The 10 of cups coming up also. The Ten of cups is, you know, the emotions It's different from the 10 of pentacles because in the Ten of Cups, you're on a stage. So the, so the happiness could be staged, right? Um, so maybe some of you already have families and you're trying to stage the happiness here, either on some platform, um, hence the stage. But you're, how you're seeing the other person is the real thing. Somebody could already have a connection or already have a family here where it's very emo driven. It's very emotional. It's very, it's staged, you know, it looks good. Is it all good? Possibly not. Um, there also could be someone here that Scorpio is in connection with that they don't have a lot in common with, but they're going to stay in the connection because they're dedicated to the relationship, to the reputation and not to the person. OK, we have an energy of where there is somebody here on the outside and there's someone here who has a, a, an established family here. We have someone asking Scorpio or Scorpio asking someone, will you have my baby? This is I feel like when this card comes out in this third party situation, this is someone wanting to always have access possibly to that third party and what's the best way to always have access to someone is to tie them down with the child right so when it's saying i dream of you so there's an element of somebody being without or withdrawn or uh apart from okay and then, and then there's here's that narcissist someone is saying so what i lied i'm a narcissist we saw that with the king of swords here someone wants it their way um and that is it and they'll they'll do what they need to do to have it their way. Someone's saying, wait for me because somebody's focused, laser focused on themselves and their money and trying to be careful with money. Uh, Scorpio or another person, but this is how your person sees you as needing to make a decision here. So Scorpio could be the one asking another party to wait for them. Because there's an element of at the bottom of the deck, someone saying, I have to stay with my family. There's an element of responsibility here for uh, Scorpio or the other person. So um, that's what's going on here in your relationship sector for, you know, the, the week and maybe the weeks to come. We'll see next Monday when we do more readings. Um, Scorpio, if you feel like this reading resonates with you, go over to the website, book your own uh, reading there. Um, also take advantage of the text question. You can text a question to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Also follow me on TikTok um, at El Toro. Also follow me on Instagram. I'm going to start doing live uh, Instagram phone calls where I'll answer questions for people who just, you know, want to, you know, go live with me on Instagram. Uh, thank you guys and many blessings to you. Take care.